All right, everybody, this is a snapshot of my GPS. If you can't tell, I wrote my name in the snow. Isn't that sweet? So I'm going to start calling these vlog episodes. This is the Timber Sled vlog episode number 185. This is when I went riding down to Skyline, Utah. I've never been to Skyline. It's only two hours from my house. But yeah, never been there. So here we go. Well, here we are, new spot. This is the skyline. I've never ridden here before in all my years. Got too many good spots close to home, so yeah, gotta try something else out. Looks fun, although the snow is absolutely rock hard. Doesn't make for good jumping conditions, but it'll be fun to explore. There's all the pretty countryside. This place is pretty cool. It's got just endless ridge after ridge after ridge. Lots of uh, steep pine trees to play in. It's pretty fun. There's my buddies coming down the hill. It didn't take us very long before we found some of all the steeper pine trees to play in. That's where the goods were at. I'm loving the new Riot 3 Pro. I mean, not necessarily, well, yeah, I'm loving the Riot 3. I was going to say, it's not just the Riot part, it's that 3-inch track. That 3-inch track is the bomb. It hooks up like crazy, gives you good float, it just gives you all kinds of confidence. Here's Matt. Matt, I, I don't know if this is his first or second time on a snow bike. He hasn't been out much, but he did great. And here's us playing in some of this steep stuff. The snow right now, this is January 15th. We had some really good snowstorms first part of, actually in the ending part of December. And then the weather storm and patterns just turned off. So here we are mid-January and it feels like we're riding spring snow. The Riot 3 Yeah, I figured I'd just be quiet and let you hear me talk right there. <laughs> the Riot 3 is the bomb. That thing, even in this, well, I was going to say, even in the spring snow, the Riot 3 is awesome, but it's definitely better than my, any other kit I've ever ridden. I have tons of this video of just riding straight up all this stuff, and I can't believe the, the lines I can Pull. The steepness of the lines I can pull is insane. The front end still feels really good, light, and easy to steer around. I'm not missing my 120 at all. This 129 just, just doesn't feel that much longer. It feels awesome. So after we played up in all this steep snow, or all this in the steep terrain a little bit, actually here's one more pretty cool climb. Watch how careful I am over that log. Anyways, yeah, here's one more good steep climb for you. I didn't feel like holding it absolutely wide open, so I let off and went off to the side a little bit. But yeah, after we played in the steep pines a little bit, we rolled over a ridge. And you'll see here in just a second. Actually, that's coming up. Sorry, I forgot. Joe found something for me to go jump. I think I found a little crystal. So we had to go jump that. Anyways, after we played in the steep stuff, Joe found a jump. And he hit it both ways. And we found a couple other little jumps. It's funny, this log jump, it looked like it was going to be huge when we first saw it. 
and then you go do it and video yourself and look back and you're like, yeah, that jump's lame. But there was all these little stumps and logs all over the place. It was like just non-stop jumping here, jumping there, hitting all these bumps. It's pretty fun. Like a minute and a half ago, I mentioned that we crossed over a ridge. I think we're finally about to get to that point. There we go. And two minutes later, we find Matt, who could not stop going down the hill. He high-sided and got chucked. So that wasn't fun. Side note, if you turn your bike upside down like that, then it stays upside down for any length of time. When you flip it back over, don't immediately just fire it right back up. There's a ton of oil stored up in your valve area, and it's good to let that oil just kind of calm down and go back down to the bottom of the motor where it is normally at. Anyways, came over here, found another hill, more jumps. I wanted to include this clip in here because this hill is so stinking steep and it's such it's so fun to just keep side hilling and side hilling and making your way up this stuff i did get a little bit nervous it just felt like avalanche terrain so we decided to get off this hill i was going to side hill that entire bowl that I decided to leave. On the other side of that ridge, I found this huge, untracked, just big old open slope. And it was so dang fun. I sat here and just carved all over the place. The bike was pulling third gear pretty good all through here. I should mention, I did a little motor work on the YZ this summer. We got eight more horsepower out of it. Changed my clickers right there so we could go hit some jumps. But yeah, we got eight more horsepower out of it. And switching from my 120 to this 129 with the bigger track, I don't feel like... I think because of the extra horsepower, it feels just like my bike did when I had a 120. So I'm pulling second gear pretty much any time I ever want. Third gear when I'm not in too much steep and deep stuff. And obviously fourth and fifth per roads. Sometimes I'll hit fourth when, I'm, when I've am when i like made a track or something somewhere to hit jumps. That was Joe hitting the jump. Here comes me. I'm pretty sure I got this in third. That was kind of a hard hit. Not landing in any fresh snow there, landing in other people's tracks. More trees to jump. God, it's so fun. Cool little ravine. Joe popped right out. That's a 22 Yeti free ride, by the way. Super nimble filling kit. I actually really enjoy it. It feels lighter on the ski than my Riot does. They have a new 2.6 inch track, um, but the track lugs are fairly thin, like you can feel them folding over when the Riot 3 thicker lug track is not folding over and grabbing traction. I feel like the Yeti track kind of spins sometimes, but it's a total pro and con deal. They're both great tracks. Anyways, that is the skyline. Here we come back to the parking lot, getting ready to load up. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to do more of these vlogs, so stay posted for more.